Welcome to another Sunday School Short. Today we're in Acts 18 and 19, walking through the New Testament chronologically as it happened, as it was written. Like, subscribe, and share if this is a blessing to you. Especially share it. Everybody needs a new Devo. Everybody needs a Devo. Getting God's Word daily. I'm just your spark plug. I'm just your encourager. This is a supplement, not a substitute for your time in God's Word. Acts 18. Lots of maps today because I want you to get a visual picture of Paul's missionary journeys here. Here we see in Acts 18, Paul leaves Athens. He goes to Corinth, which you can see on the map there. It's in Greece on the western side of the map or on the left-hand side of the map there. I have arrows there. He meets Aquila and Priscilla, who were Jews. They were kicked out of Rome due to the Edict of Claudius in 41 AD. They were tent makers like Paul. Uh, he lived and worked with them. He would preach in the synagogue on the Sabbath. And there, many, some opposed him. So he shook off the dust from his clothes and saying, uh, Your blood is on your own heads. I am innocent. From now on, I will preach to the Gentiles. He left and went to the home of Titius Justus, a Gentile who worshipped God and lived next to the synagogue there. Paul had a vision from the Lord one night, and the Lord told him, Don't be afraid. Speak out. Don't be silent. I am with you. And I, from Scripture, I'm telling you, God's telling you the same thing. Speak out. Don't be silent. I am with you. Those type of wordings are from Genesis through Revelation, the Word of God. So Paul stayed there the next year and a half, preaching and teaching. Now, verses 12 through 17, but when... Galileo became governor of Acacia. Uh, some Jews rose up against Paul and brought in Acacia there is, uh, or Achaia there is on the west side of the map there, Greece, southern Greece there. Um, some Jews rose up against Paul and brought him to the governor there, similar to how they brought Jesus before Pilate. And similar to the way Pilate reacted, Galileo, he told them to take care of yourselves. Hey, this is a Jew problem. Don't, don't bring this to me. Um, Paul later sailed for Syria, as you can see on the map. That's on the eastern side or on the right-hand side over there. He took Aquila and Priscilla with him. Their first stop was Ephesus, which is Turkey. That's right in the middle of the map. And Paul left others behind there. In uh, Ephesus, he went on to Caesarea, which is there in in Judah or the Israel area, again on the east side of the map, then to Jerusalem, then back to Antioch, which is north of that. All these have arrows beside them. I know it's a lot of jumbled on the map there, but I tried to point it out so you can get a visual picture again. After speaking sometime in Antioch, which was the, I call it Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, because that's where the Paul's first missions, he was um, sent out from those churches there in Antioch, the church there in Antioch. Paul went back to Galatia visiting, and that's on the northern part of the map. That's northern Turkey there. Visiting and strengthening believers. Verses 24 through 28. Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos, Apollos, an, an eloquent speaker, who knew the scriptures well, had arrived in Ephesus. That's on the map. That's in the middle of the map there. Verse 25. He had been taught the way of the Lord, and he taught others about Jesus with an enthusiastic spirit with accuracy. However, he knew only of John's baptism, which John's baptism was with water, and it was repent, turn from your sin. Okay? Now, Priscilla and Aquila heard uh, Apollos preach, pulled him aside, aside, not embarrass him in front of everybody, and explained the way of God more accurately, the Word of God says. As we learn, me and you, as we learn and grow and mature in our faith, normally good for the our theology continues to get better and better apollos apollos went on to um Achaia, which is on the west side of the map there he proved to be a great benefit to the people there and that's the area of athens and corinth uh, he used the scripture to explain that jesus was the messiah and i love that he used the scriptures to explain that because who cares what i think who cares what anybody thinks if you hear a preacher say, I think, your, your, um, your antenna should go up. Your ears should get red. You want to you hear what the Bible says, as Billy Graham would say. The Bible says. That's what you want to hear. You don't want to hear, I think, if it's a theological issue. All right, Acts 19. This is 51 AD. This is Paul's third missionary journey. Okay, so while Paulus, uh, Apollos was in Corinth, or Achaia, 
uh, on the map there. Paul traveled through the interior regions from Antioch. All right, remember, when he was returning from Corinth there in Acacia, he went Ephesus, which is there in the middle of the map, Caesarea, which is right there uh, around Israel, then down to Jerusalem, then back to Antioch. So Paul's a mover and a maker. He's a shaker. He's on mission. Now, Antioch, on, from Antioch, on foot, he went through the interior of the Galatian area there, all the way to Ephesus. Okay, asking believers, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? Verse 2, no, we haven't heard of the Holy Spirit. Then by what baptism did you experience? And they said, John's baptism. Paul went on to explain uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Uh, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Paul preached in the synagogues there for three months. Some argued, so he took believers to the Paul of to the hall of Tyrannus uh, for two years. A group of Jews were traveling from town to town, casting out. This is verse thirteen. A group of Jews were traveling from town to town, casting out evil spirits, saying, "I command you in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, come out." And one time an evil spirit said to them, Hey, I know Jesus, and I know Paul, but who are you? And the man in the evil, the man that was possessed by the evil spirit beat them and stripped them naked. See, they were just trying to do magic and sorcery using whatever terminology in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. They were just using terminology to elicit a response or to elicit the response they wanted. They wanted to be able to cast out demons. They weren't true believers in the power of Jesus. Jesus. People saw what took place here, and because of this news sp of spreading so rapidly, many believed and burned their, their cantation books, which are their magic spell books, in a, in a public bonfire. And these books were worth millions of dollars, the Bible says. What do you need to get rid of in your life so that you can follow Jesus more closely? These people got rid of their magic spell books. You may need to get rid of some things. I may need to get rid of some. We always should be looking for things. That's the Christian walk, a walk to repentance. Continually turning from sin as soon as you recognize it. Turn from sin and say, God, I don't want to think that way. I don't want to say those things. I don't want to have those thoughts. Do you have impure thoughts? Lust. Is pornography an issue for you? Is greed an issue for you? Is jealousy an issue for you? Is anger an issue for you? What about complacency in your faith walk? Is that an issue for you. When you see it, run from it. Say, no, I want to be on fire for you. Like, subscribe, and share. God bless you. Get into God's Word with me.